Checking out a 2016 Acura ILX Premium with the A-Spec package. This is a really, really sweet car. It gets me super excited to show it off to you. It has a 2.4 liter, 201 horsepower engine, four cylinder, IV tech, but also, that's an awesome motor by itself, but it also is paired to an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission, which is insanely awesome to me and really, really fun to drive. You gotta take one of these for a test drive. It is, you know, a four door, four door sedan sports car. I mean, it's just, it's crazy awesome. Plus it has a lot of uh, luxury features on the inside and we're actually gonna see everything on this vehicle inside and out. So get comfortable, let's go ahead and check it out. So it has the 18 inch, part of the A-Spec package is these 18 inch awesome wheels with the black and aluminum popping through. It gives it a super sporty look. Plus you have the ventilated disc brakes here in the front. It's a four wheel disc brake system where you have the disc brakes in the back but the ventilated disc brakes are in the front where you need them. Let's take a look at the profile here. You have that deck lid spoiler. Nice contours. So let's take a look here in the front. And this one has the jewel eye headlights, which are awesome. Love the jewel eye headlights. You have their LEDs. You have the three on the outside, and uh, those are your low beams. And then the two here on the very left are your high beams. Now, just show you something here. The these right here, these three on the outside, are projector system. The two on the inside are a reflector system. They're all LEDs, but it just have different ways of doing things. The projector system focuses the beams in a certain direction. Now the reflector system focuses it too, but it's le it's more scattered. It's less fo it's less focused to where you can have a broader, more of like a floodlight. So really cool design. I love LED headlights. They're super white light. There's no like yellow tint or different you know hues to the light it's just pure white light just like the sun you also have the halogen fog lights here at the bottom and check out that grill you've got the Acura symbol which is cool enough but then it's accented by this matte metallic looking center grill there and then you have the chrome around the outside of that it just really stands out so the name of this color is Bellanova White, and it is a kind of like a pearl white. I don't know if you can see that in the in the camera there, but it looks really sharp. Let's take a look at this side. Maybe you can see the wheels a little bit better on this side, possibly. So here's the key, and it is a proximity key. Of course, you can lock and unlock the doors using the key, and then you can open up the trunk as well. There's the back side with the uh, Acura symbol on it. But actually, this key, you could just keep it in your pocket as long as you have it with you. You don't actually have to take it out of your pocket or your purse. And so I'm just going to leave it in my pocket from now on. And before I do that, actually, I'm going to show you that to go ahead and lock the vehicle. So now we know the vehicle's locked. Okay, so we walk up to the door, and this is how the proximity key works. You walk up the door. Let me just show you that it's locked by pulling out here. See, it's completely locked, won't let me in. Okay, but if I wanna unlock the doors, all I have to do is actually put my hand behind the handle and it unlocks the door. If I wanna relock the door, all I have to do is push this button. It relocks all the doors. So it's a real easy system to use. Um, getting in especially you just put your hand on the handle just like you would anyway and it unlocks the door so here's the inside of the tr passenger side all black interior interior color is called ebony which is black and the only thing not black here is this contrast stitching that white contrast stitching in the French pattern there pretty much everything is soft to the touch very comfortable and easy you know, just a really classy vehicle. Place to put your water bottle there. 
Let's take a look at the power seat here on the passenger side. Now the seats have a combination of leather trimming on the outside, and then you have this cloth here on the center that's textured. It has these little perforations in it with some white on the background, which is pretty cool looking to me. Very comfortable seats. They really hug your body. They have the uh, bolstering here on the sides, on the seat, as well as, as the back. And it kind of, you know, conforms to your body without being too intrusive. It's a really good, um, comfortable seat. Locking glove compartment, which is pretty cool. Opens up and it's all felt lined. Pretty good size. Nothing like spectacular or anything, but it's pretty decent size. So let's take a look here in the back seats. Here's the inside of the back door. Pretty much the same styling as the front with the stitching and all. So the back seats, super comfortable. Uh, you can squeeze three people back here, I'm sure, but uh, you know, two people would definitely have plenty of room, especially, you know, the, the bolstering and everything is very comfortable. So let's take a look here. This folds down, revealing a armrest and some cup holders plenty of leg room back here and you can see it's floor is pretty much flat so in case you need a, a center passenger doesn't have their you know feet on top of a hump or something like that take a look here at the back we have the Acura badge and the ILX badge so to open the trunk as long as I have the key in my pocket or with me I, there's a little button under here. Just push that and it pops open. You see the little backup camera lens back here. I'll just check that out when we get on the inside. Plenty of room. Huge trunk back here. Already has the ILX perfectly fitted cargo mat, which is awesome and it's highly recommended. And that back seat uh, will fold down using, you just pull this and it will unlatch it. And then you walk around the other side and pull it down, which I'll show you in a minute. So back here, under the mat and under the floor here, is a tire inflator kit. This vehicle, you can choose whether you want a tire inflator kit or a spare tire. So this one in particular has the tire inflator kit and some storage area around, around the out, outside of it. So let's go ahead and pull this and unlatch the back seat. So now we can just reach in, grab the seat, and pull it right on down. And, of course, you might have to adjust the front seats a little bit in order to get it to go all the way down, but you get the idea. Adds a lot of cargo space in case you need to, you know, get a large box or something like that and put it in the trunk. If you don't have any back seat passengers, this really adds to the cargo capacity of the vehicle. So here's the fuel door. It's on the driver's side. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. You just open it up by pushing this down. And then we have a little door here that opens up and there's the cap and there and the cap has this little plastic tether so a little tether right there keeps you from losing the cap but you don't want to let it dangle down and scratch your paint while you're pumping gas so they put this perfect little hanger for your fuel cap and it keeps it completely out of the way and it doesn't dangle down and scratch your paint Awesome, awesome, awesome. So to start the vehicle, as long as you have the key in the vehicle, you just put your foot on the brake and push this red candy-like button. Let's take a look under the hood. So to open the hood, pretty much right here in the center, right above the Acura symbol, there is a little latch. It's a little bit to the left, and you just move it in to the right, right there. Then you can lift up the hood. So there is the 2.4 liter, 201 horsepower, four cylinder engine. And you can actually see some engine. It's not covered up with plastic much, which I really like. Really awesome engine. Solid, solid, solid engine. 2.4 liter is just amazing. Check out a little battery. All right, so 
let's get behind the wheel and check out the features there all right so let's take a look here at the driver's door is pretty much a mirror of the other side except for it has some more buttons you have the contrast stitching and all the soft of the touch features and all that stuff but you also have the presets for your seats here and it will correspond with a key so you have driver one and driver two um, written on your key so you just choose the one you want and it'll preset your power seat and when you get in the vehicle it'll know who's how the seat wants to be how you want the seat to be adjusted automatically which is really awesome power window controls are here the front two are automatic one touch up and down and door locks are here now you can lock out the rear windows from being rolled up and down with this button here side mirrors are controlled with this uh, you just choose a side then you can adjust it with this pad put it back in the center to avoid messing up your adjusted mirrors all right here we are on the inside sweet car very comfortable roomy and sporty so it has the metal pedals there with the uh, little rubber raised dimples for grip and a place to put my left foot which is super essential for me and it does have the tilt and telescoping steering column so you can get it right where you want it then you can adjust it there so let's go ahead and uh, start over here on the far left. We have a button for your traction control and you turn that, you push that to turn it off. It's always gonna be on uh, until you push this button. And the only time you really wanna do that is if you're stuck in the snow or mud and you need to spin the tires to get out. Uh, that's really the only reason why I would turn it off, but you know, there may be other reasons. Uh, Cause it is a good safety feature to leave on. So here's the steering wheel leather wrapped really high quality comfortable feeling steering wheel with the stitching on the inside and then you have little metallic accents there but you notice it has a bunch of buttons so let's go ahead and start here on the left side volume for your radio is here you can change through your like so if you want to change through your stations or your presets here uh, on your radio you can change through with those buttons mode is like am fm satellite radio that kind of stuff or if you have like a cd in there in the cd player it might uh, show that show up too when you push mode so down here is for your bluetooth controls once you pair your bluetooth phone with the system you'll be able to answer calls hang up and make calls with these buttons now when you're driving along, if there happens to be a call that comes in and you're playing the music or whatever, it will lower the music and start ringing through the speakers and you just push this button and you say hello. And it's as simple as that. It keeps your hands on the wheel, eyes on the road, and you're, and you're receiving a phone call. If you need to make a phone call, you push this button. And this is for your voice recognition system. So it does more than just make phone calls. You can change through the stations on your radio, stuff like that. But basically you push that button and let's say you had somebody in your phone book on your phone named Peggy, you can push that button and say call Peggy and it'll, you know, the system will call her right up and when you're finished talking you push the, the button to hang up. Really cool feature, awesome convenience feature, killer safety feature, awesome safety feature. So let's take a look at the buttons here on the right. You have the cruise control, you just make sure it's turned on and it'll have a little indicator letting you know it's on. And once it's on, you can set it with this button. You can resume, you can change through your accelerate or deaccelerate, like your speed, um, right there, and then you can always cancel it with that button. So these buttons correspond with this little menu system between the gauges, but let's check out the gauges real quick. You have your engine coolant temperature there to the far right, left, then you have your RPMs, your speedometer, which goes up to 160 miles an hour, by the way, and then you have your fuel gauge there to the far right, and so right here in the center we have what gear you're in and then it shows the outside temperature 91 degrees pretty warm today and then your odometer but you see this little screen up there that's the screen i'm talking about so i'm going to use these arrow buttons to kind of scroll through and then you also have a, uh, a selection button there in the center so right now we're in a blank screen so that's one of the options so i'm going to scroll up and then it's going to go into vehicle settings you can go in and and um, change all kinds of stuff in there and your oil life, you get that, tells you when to change the oil. 
and your tire pressure on each tire average speed you can reset all this stuff just like the average time I mean elapsed time and then your range how long you you can drive with before you have to get gas it's all skewed right now because it's a new vehicle and needs to be driven and this is your like your average fuel economy there at the top 5.2 miles per gallon you know that's off and then at the very bottom you have this little bar which will move as you're driving and it give you real time miles per gallon while you're driving so you kind of know what you're getting in that moment at the speed and then there's back to the blank screen again so and I just want to mention you can go in there and get that information but if there's a problem like say with the tire pressure or if it's time to change the oil or any kind of information like that it's gonna pop up and tell you so you don't actually have to go and check the tire pressure every day or anything like that all right so your headlight controls are here you have off parking light automatic and then there's your headlights and then your uh, fog lights are controlled with this button windshield wiper controls are here and on the back of the steering wheel you have actually have paddle shifters which is really awesome to cycle through that dual clutch eight-speed transmission that must be super fun all right so let's take a look up here you have two screens you have a big one up there which is not a touch screen or anything it's just a, a visual screen and then you actually have a touch screen down here so right now we are in uh, satellite radio which is showing us we have a clock there at the top and we have a volume here and then you have a place to put a CD CD player but let's say we want to change we don't want to play music through the sat satellite radio we want to play it through some other source we can go here to audio source and it gives us all kinds of ways of playing music through the sound system am fm satellite radio cd player you have usb ports including one for an ipod and then you have the bluetooth audio feature which once you pair your phone with this bluetooth system if you have music on it you could just play music wirelessly right off your phone plus you have the ability to play music through the internet radio uh, program uh, pandora and then you also have AHA, which is another type of feature like that. And then you have HDMI input, which is pretty cool. And I've heard people say they can, you know, play their... Uh, I hadn't actually seen them do it, but they said they can play like a Xbox or something through the system. I don't know if that's true, but um, it would be cool if, if, if that was the case. Now, you can edit the order. So, with me, like the CD player... Uh, like you can, I would probably drop that to the bottom and the AM drop to that to the bottom and trying to, you know, you can kind of like customize the screen to where, you know, it's, it's the way you want it. Which is pretty cool. And then you can change through the genre of music that you want. Since there's so much stuff on the satellite radio, you can really fine tune it there. And then um, you have shortcuts, which is awesome because you have, I'll wait for that to finish up. You have your phone shortcuts so you know like basically like your phone book real quick selection phone book shortcuts plus you have your audio shortcuts which are like you know like your presets and stuff so you also have this information down here and this is corresponds with your uh, climate control which we'll get that to that in a second so another way of controlling the screen up here is using this dial so you can scroll through and get different particular like channels or whatever on this menu system using this dial so you can choose what you want and then you hit enter on the one you want and then there now we're in that particular station you also have these phone options there I don't want to add a phone, but once we do add a phone, you have access to your phone book and recent calls. You have speed dials and call histories. Information, this is where you go into your like settings and you can uh, change your... This is really cool. It has a wallpaper. So let's go back here. I'm going to show you the wallpaper there. And you can actually change that background. So you have this big clock, but right now it has like stars and space or whatever but you can change that to like you know pictures of a car or you know your family or whatever you want on that wallpaper in the behind the clock which is pretty cool and then you can go to your audio this is back to your audio screen and then you can go to apps 
which once you uh, you have to connect to your iPhone you have to hook your iPhone up to the HDMI cable in order to um, you know sync your apps and stuff like that which all that needs to be set up since it's a new car so but anyway there's your main ways of controlling your uh, your screen there you can always push back to get out of certain screens um, and then you've got a menu system here that sometimes it depends some screens don't have a menu some screens do and you can go into your settings but down here is your climate control and it is a dual zone so you have your temperature here on the passenger that I can adjust separately from I mean the driver and passenger are separately right there now I can sync them by pushing this button so now they're both on the same temperature so if I adjust this side they both do the same thing but if I want to unsync them I can of course push this button or I can just start changing the passenger side and it will unsync them you also have your mode which is where you want the air to blow uh, recirculate the air your fan speed your front and rear defrosters and when you turn on the rear defrosters it will also turn on your side mirror def uh, heaters as well all right little storage pocket here that opens up and really cool place to looks like put your phone or something there heated seat controls are here for both your driver and passenger side you have a high and low so here's the shifter and you have your uh, parking brake there but the shifter is really cool it has this um, leather wrapped with the stitching and everything on it and a little leather boot looking all sporty so let's go ahead and put it in reverse and as soon as you put it in reverse your backup camera will pop up here and you also have those little grid lines that kind of help you when you're backing up so when I turn the steering wheel, it turns the grid lines and kind of gives me an estimated trajectory of the vehicle and also an estimated width. Now the screen is a wide angle lens, so it's a little bit distorted as you can see from the bumper. Um, so there, those lines, these horizontal lines kind of help you with the distance away from things. So you definitely don't want to go any closer than that dotted line there because the dotted line is literally just a few inches from the vehicle. Okay, so let's continue down. There's neutral, there's drive, and then that's your normal drive position. It's going to go cycle through the gears for you, all the all the gear eight gear ratios, using the dual clutch system, which I'll leave a link in the description because that is an awesome, awesome feature. And there's sport mode. Now this sport mode is where you'd use the paddle shifter, so you can, you know, cycle through the gears manually, uh, just by using those paddle shifters. You can simulate a manual transmission and man. These are these tra these um the transmissions shift instantly. You never lose uh, forward mo forward momentum. Plus the uh, of course the engine's awesome. But anyway, you got to take one for a test drive. Okay, so cup holders are here and pretty good size. One is a little bit deeper than the other. Plus you have these little side thing these little things that stick out on the side to accommodate for different size cups okay so here is your center armrest and this lifts up by pushing this button and this is where you'll find a 12 volt power supply your USB port and your HDMI input and it's kind of dark in there so let's let's see if I can help that out there we go so now you can see in there a little bit better it's gonna basically be a junk drawer you can put all your stuff in there and <laughs> and it will um, you know cl clutter it up all right so here's the rearview mirror and it's auto dimming right now because I have the shade covering up the light sensor but um so you can see what the auto dim feature does it dims down the light uh, from like you know people's headlights and stuff behind you at nighttime to uh, avoid you getting blinded or whatever so up here we have some tap lights for a quick reading light and your garage door opener controls are here now you can turn on all your interior lights by pushing that button there you can put it in the center position to where when you open up the door all the interior lights are turned on or if you don't want that to happen you don't want the interior lights to turn on at all you just put it in the off position like that so your sunroof is controlled with this button so here's your sunroof and it has the shade which blocks 100 percent of the light open this up and then you can let some light in but let's say you want to let some air in 
you can put let a little bit in like so and then you can open it up all the way and let a whole bunch of air in and of course on a hot day like today I'm gonna go ahead and close it up completely that way I'll stay cool on the inside with the air conditioning there's the visor with mirror and lights let's take a look at the visibility here in the back so this car has a really awesome feature you see on the side mirror it has this little symbol it looks like a car with a little radar symbol on the side that's kind of that's an indicator that somebody is in your blind spot so this has a blind spot monitoring system and a rear tra cross traffic alert system as well so if there's a vehicle if you're driving on the highway and there's a vehicle in your blind spot that little symbol will illuminate and let you know somebody's in there now if you put your turn signal in that direction so you have one on this side and you have one on the passenger side same little symbol and that will illuminate depending the side which side that it that there's somebody there could be somebody on both sides so mo both of them might be lit up but if you put your turn signal on in the direction that there's a vehicle in your blind spot it will alert you okay it's going to make a chime noise and kind of alert you on on the dash and make kind of get your attention so you don't actually get in an accident another thing is the side mirror i don't know if you can notice this see if you can notice that the edge of the side mirror there is a little bit distorted looking and hopefully you can see but that helps you see in your blind spot just on the very edge uh, so so that way you can actually see in your blind spot and you'll be alerted on either side if there is somebody in your blind spot really cool plus like I said there's cross traffic alerts system so if you're perpendicularly parked like these cars here and you're backing out sometimes you can't really see around those other cars so what will happen is if you're backing out there's these sensors that uses that same blind spot type monitoring system to sense vehicles coming from either direction and it will let you know if there's a vehicle coming in so really cool features there so anyways thank you for watching if you have any questions or clarifications anything like that maybe you have an experience with a vehicle like this or um maybe you know somebody that owns one or you're thinking about buying one maybe you know whatever leave your information or your comments and everything in the comment section and it really helps out other people so if you you know especially if you have experience with a vehicle like this you can leave your experience say you know when you bought it how long you've had it you know your experience with um what you like about it and all that stuff so leave it in the comment section it helps out everybody in the future that watches the video they get more information